Hello, 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 and welcome back. I am here back again with another episode of the Bolo Bat. It is the bounce back paddle ball, and some call it the Bolo Bat of the 1960s, but Toy Smith calls it the bounce back paddle ball, and it's a little bit wider than the paddle balls that uh, may, you may have grown up with and some of the ones that you see in the store. But this wooden paddle ball bolo bat is a very nice one. It's very durable and the string is very nice too. It's got a good ball at the end. So today I'm going to teach you how to do it. And it can be a little difficult to do the paddle ball. It just takes patience and practice. And over time, you will get it if you are consistent. So I'm just gonna start first of all with wrapping your string around the uh, paddle ball. So basically you just wanna take this string here and wrap it around to the front. Just do it a couple of times, okay? And then loop it through the front right here. Loop it through right here, okay, you see it? Now it's in front of you, it's very short. And it, by starting out uh, with a short string, it gives you a, a leg up. So we're gonna do that. So it's wrapped around, the string is wrapped around. And in fact, in the back, it's just a bow tie. Okay, maybe to shorten it a little bit. So let's go. You got it wrapped around. You have nothing, no bracelets, no obstacles in your way and you're ready to begin, all right? You're just gonna take it in your right hand, if you're right hand, if you're left-handed, put it in your left hand, all right? Just grab it around there and just drop the ball, let the ball fall to the paddle and then hit it. Okay, you drop the ball to the paddle and hit it, boom. Let's do that a couple more times. Drop the ball to the paddle and hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right, let's do it one more time. Okay, you're standing in place. You can do this inside or outside. This is an indoor sport or an outdoor sport. All right, just take it. The string is shortened. Okay, and just hit it as many times as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, All right, so this time, Okay, now that you've got that, just repeat it over and over again. If you don't get it the first time, just do it again. Put the paddle down, leave it, come back again another day. And that's okay too. That's the easiest way to learn without uh, being so hard on yourself. So don't be hard on yourself because the paddle ball actually gives you confidence, all right? And it helps you with your hand and eye coordination and you get a little exercise while doing it. You can stand up doing it, or you can sit down. You can actually sit in the chair and do it. Now that I have the string completely out, it's almost 30 inches long, all right? That gives me quite a bit of flexibility so that I can hit it hard, okay? I can hit the ball hard on the paddle. I'm gonna do this a couple of times too, and then I'll go back again and do the shorter string. Okay, so just watch me, put your paddle down, don't try and follow, just look this time. All right, you ready? Here we go. I'm just gonna drop the ball down to the pedal and I'm just gonna hit it about 10 times for you, okay? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops, that was nine. I'll do 10 for you, okay? Sometimes the fingers get caught up in there too or rings will, get, will uh, be in the way as well. Let's do it again. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now, if you can do that and stop, that means you've really got it. You've really taken hold to the paddle ball. All right. Actually, I'm going to do that one more time, and then I'm going to go back and do. I'm going to shorten my string and do it again. So this time I'll do about ten, and let's see. May I may even do twenty. All right. And make sure that you do check out my other video. I have a video called. Uh, 60 year old lady doing 200 paddle balls. In that video, I said that I did 100 or I was like, I lost count. 
but actually I did 200, in fact, a little over 200 paddle ball hits. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one and then I'll go back again. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, now you will get to the point when you can do that. All right, so I was able to stop myself. So I got pretty good hold, a pretty good grip on this ball. Okay. So let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Shorten the string. Remember, wrap that string around here, around here a few times, and then just put it through the loop, through the loop there in front of you, in front of you. Okay. This is pretty short for me. So I like to hit it long, but I'm going to hit it short for you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. See, it's hard for me to hit it short. I'll do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eight, nineteen, twenty, one, two, two, three, two, four, two, five, six, seven, eight, two, nine, thirty. Wow. Now another thing the paddle ball can do for our little youngsters, our little babies, our little toddlers, the kids that are learning to count, they can practice with the paddle ball. Or you as a mom or dad can take the paddle ball and teach them how to count. And you can do it in increments of five. So I just want to throw this little piece in for you, okay? So you got your little your little toddler there with you, a little preschooler, a little kindergartner. So let's go. Count how many times mom and your daddy will hit the paddle ball. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. And then they can learn to count and it really will incite them. They'll be excited and encouraged and they'll want you to do more so they can learn how to count more. They'll want to do 20, then 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 and 70, 80, 90. And you'll have them counting to 100 because it's so exciting. I'm going to end the show in just one second, but just remember to like my page and, and subscribe, like this video and share it with some other people. Um, there are some friends of yours, maybe, maybe you're old school and you remember growing up in the sixties and seventies and someone taught you how to play paddle ball or put the paddle ball in your hand. Now's the time to get reacquainted and have some fun. And you can get these paddle balls at your local hobby store. You can even go to the hobby town in your, uh, local neighborhood and they sell, maybe they'll sell some paddle balls to you, but, um, do it again for you. Okay, and I'll be signing off in just one second. So you can pick up your paddle ball again if you have one. And if you don't, get you a paddle ball. The paddle ball is so much fun. In fact, you'll probably be one of the only one or two people that you know that can do a paddle ball. And you know what? That's very empowering because when you can do it, then you become the expert in the group. And that's about what you want to be doing in life. The expert. So here we go. Thanks for watching. Please like it and share it.